This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before we go any further and you realise how fucking garbage my content is. And if this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back, you absolute fucking loser. Now let me first apologise about all of the fucking glare that's going on out there. It's very sunny and we're not used to this in the UK. So normally having the fucking sun out there isn't a problem, but yet here it is. Now for today's video, we're going to be discussing the digital next announcements that we've just seen from Konami. At the time of recording, it literally finished maybe five minutes ago and I just rushed to get my stuff together and get ready so that I could bring you guys a video and just brief you on what exactly is there and just some of my thoughts on what is going on. Of course, the information we have is pretty limited to some sense, but you know, we'll talk about what we have. So we start off with one thing. I'm just going to read the text here. For those of you who haven't seen it though, I do recommend going to watch the video anyway. But basically it says, to all the fans of the Yu-Gi-Oh card game, Konami has been bringing new ways to play Yu-Gi-Oh to evolve with the changing landscape of our world. In the past year, we have brought remote duels through various on online events. And we're excited to bring back offline events to our fans as well. As we prepare for the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2022, today we'll introduce more ways to play Yu-Gi-Oh! with new digital titles. Now at this stage, of course, I was very excited by one of two possibilities, either that we were going to get a Yu-Gi-Oh! official simulator, so we don't have to use the unofficial sims like DB and uh, Edo Pro and all of those things. I don't personally like using them. They're clunky. There's so many issues with them. They look low quality, but people have been making do with what they have. Now, of course, we've had remote duels, which has helped an awful lot with that, especially since they've been officially sanctioning them. A lot of players actually prefer to do that format. However, for not everybody does that work. Me, for example, I have great equipment so that I can do great quality videos, but I don't have the best setup in the world, so I can't play remote duels as much as I might want to. So the idea of an official sim sounds pretty fucking cool. So... That's one thing we're hoping for. And the other thing, for me personally, I'm a big Duel Links fan, so I was hoping for some news on Duel Links. Now, there have been some rumours going around about Pendulum coming into the game. Personally, I have no idea how they could see to even conceivably introduce it into the game. But as someone who plays it quite a bit, I'm quite keen on the idea of introducing something new, a new flavour into the game. But anyway, I'm waffling on. Let's get stuck into what else was covered in the video. So the first thing we get announced is Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel. We're actually getting a game on the Switch, I believe. It's exclusive to the Switch, which is going to allow you to play Rush Duels uh, in in an audience outside of the Asia markets. Of course, Rush Duels is exclusive to the OCG, not to the TCG, so it's not something that we have here. But having an actual game to play it is quite a cool idea. For the most part, people who enjoy the kind of Switch games, and I'm one of those people as well, if nothing else, you can pick it up, and those cards are worth just as much as the game itself that you get anyway. So for most people, that's a win-win anyway. You get like a double whammy of benefits there, so you get free cards usually with these games that are worth a good chunk of money, and of course, you get the game itself. And of course, having an another way to play is always welcome in this game. So there's a whole video package there about Rush Duels. So those of you, again, who are interested, you should definitely go ahead and check out the videos on the official channels. Uh, it's planned for the release in fall of 2021 um, in the Americas and Europe, and the Japanese version will be available from August the 12th. So just a few months to wait, and of course, a perfect Christmas gift or something like that for those of you who are keen on the game. After that, we get a really nice rundown of what's happened in Duel Links. That's right, they show us through the phases of the game, each of the years that they've introduced new series into the game. We already knew what was coming at this point. Pendulums are coming to Duel Links. Now, make no mistake, if you're a Duel Links player, start saving your gems now. You are going to need every single gem because any packs that come out with Pendulum cards in are going to be insane. Make no mistake, you will need every pack you can open. For a lot of players who are playing Duel Links who've been scared of Pendulums, this is actually going to be a great addition to the game. For those of you who are playing who don't play the TCG, Pendulum is a strong summoning mechanic, but it's really not the worst thing in the world to overcome and defeat. There's lots and lots of back row removal which are going to help you deal with Pendulum scales, like the Cosmic Cyclone is already a mainstay in the game, and it's going to be incredibly important to the game once pendulums come in. Also, Arc 5 means that we're going to have a whole bunch of new characters to play with, to level up, to grind. And if you're anything like me, who's maxed out like the vast majority of your characters, then this is a much welcome addition to the game. 
I do think this is a really good thing, though, for those who are playing this game, who've been scared of these new summoner mechanics, they're going to dip their toes in, they're going to realise it's really not that bad, and hopefully that will also welcome a new wave of players back into the TCG. Personally, I'm very excited for this one and have been for some time since the rumour mill started about this, but of course nothing is official until it's confirmed, which is what we've got now. Now, there's no official date on the Arc 5 confirmation. It just says 2021, so we know it's in the coming months. So, again, start saving those gems now. So, of course, that was all pretty exciting. And then the real big news of the announcement came in. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. That's right, everyone at this point started hyping up in every chat. You can imagine getting excited because we knew we had a feeling that this might be the moment we've all been waiting for. So, the first thing we get to see is an absolutely incredible looking set of animations on a Yu-Gi-Oh field. It's got everything in there. It's got all the extra monster zones. It's got pendulum zones. Well, at least where they're supposed to be now. We've got everything there. We've got cool stuff like a pot of greed sat on the side. We've got big animations of the monsters. We've got chain links looking cool. This looks like exactly what we've been waiting for in this game for so long. Now, as I alluded to earlier, I'm not a big fan of the unofficial Sims. We just use what we can. I much prefer physical play, much prefer playing with actual cards. And of course, I've always wanted something a little bit more crisp. I've been playing this game on and off since its a very initial release, uh, since I was a young kid. And having access to something like this to play against friends from all around the world is so exciting. Now, we don't have an awful lot of information, just what they've shown us here. They have implied that we're going to have access to OCG and TCG, so I guess we'll get something like the, the world's ban list, or maybe they'll do it regional, who knows, but they have mentioned their competitive and casual play, official tournaments. That means we are going to actually be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! online with official sanctioned events. Now, everybody knows that this is long overdue. It's something we, we've all been pining out for for years. Pokemon's had it for ages. Magic the Gathering's had it for ages. People are playing on their phones and all of that good stuff. And we all just want to be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! properly. Not the watered-down versions that we see in Duel Links and all that. As much as I love them, it's not the same as the official thing. And of course, this news is incredibly exciting because it means that we can finally do just that. And to make this all the more insane, it's on everything. All of the consoles, it's on Android, it's on iOS, it's on Steam. You can play on basically any platform that any modern gamer has access to. You can play on the go. All of this stuff, this sounds absolutely bonkers to me, but it sounds incredible. I really, really hope they nail this because we all want it so bad. I don't know a single person that isn't going to back the idea of this product. Now, a few people have questioned how they're going to monetize this. I imagine you'll just be able to buy digital packs. I'm hoping we get something similar to what we do with Pokemon. We've already seen advertisement cards popping into our booster packs. Why can't they add the same to those and we can just redeem them against packs? If you buy physical product, you get those cards, you can cash them in online and you'll get to open a digital pack either with the same cards or maybe just randomized cards. I guess randomized will probably be easier, but that's a really cool way of doing it in my opinion. And of course, for the people out there who are going, well, why does the money matter? Well, without the money, the game doesn't exist. So we have to support it in any way we can. And hopefully that is exactly how they do it. That will certainly encourage me to buy more physical product. And it will certainly encourage my friends to buy more physical product. All of the good stuff that comes along with it. And then the video rounds off with cross stools. Of course, it's never going to be as exciting, but there's very little information on that. It does say, though, that it's a four-player game. So that means, that, of course, you can have multiple friends playing at the same time. I imagine this is going to be likely more of a casual way of playing the game. But it's certainly interesting to see them introducing new formats, new concepts into the game. That's certainly how you keep things fresh. That's how you keep new markets coming in and all of the good stuff. Obviously, the biggest excitement news here is it seems like we've finally got that official sim that we've all been waiting for. Now, again, I would highly recommend you go out and watch the actual video to get all the information. It's really, really nice. Of course, it's much cooler when you get to see it fresh and not watch this before you do it. But there you go. Hopefully, you've probably already seen it and just want to hear a bit of my information. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on. That's enough from me. I just wanted to have a quick rundown of exactly what I thought of what this Digital Next announcement was and uh, basically share some of my thoughts on it. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Thank you very much for coming along. I do really appreciate you watching the video. And especially if you made it this far. If you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.